Welcome to the channel, Gaming Army. This video finds us in our Hunchback. This is a Hunchback 4G. Nothing fancy under the hood. It's pretty straightforward. Big AC-20, three medium lasers, and a top speed of 82 kph. And while it's nothing fancy under the hood, this little 50-tonner is the workhorse of Inner Sphere Medium Max. Our first match of two has us playing Assault Mode on Frozen City, and the enemy has remained in the Echo 4 area for the opening rounds of this match. I'm trying to stay with a larger group of my teammates as we push across the Fox line. Now, in front of me is a wide open space with no cover, and here goes a friendly so Atlas. Rocket, Atlas. Let me know in the comments, would you go with the Atlas as support, or would you try to come at this a different direction, knowing that he's going into a wide enemy open area and the only cover over there is the enemy base? Drop me a quick Target comment spotted. below. Let me know how you would have played this one. Also, I am trying to grow the channel Target and can spotted. really use your help. And you can do that by clicking the subscribe button. Maybe while you're even leaving me your comment. It does help the YouTube algorithm reach more pilots with this type of content so please hit the subscribe button obviously i wound up shifting to the left side to protect our left flank i know there's multiple targets in box four including a wounded viper but i don't want that viper to get through behind us because he would be very very dangerous at our backsides in the meantime i have found no one the broken dropship, so I'm going to use that as cover and start raining some AC-20 shells onto the enemy units that are in front of me. Target I was thinking spotted. about relocating, but this is such a good spot at the moment that I come back for seconds, thirds, fourths. Acquired. If they're going to let me have this position, I will gladly take it as long as I have targets to shoot at. As you can see, there is a parade of enemy units passing in front of me, and I've been able to get a lot of shots, but I haven't been able to capitalize on the Viper, which is why I came through here in the first place. I have found a couple of Marauders that I'm trying to work their right torsos and take out the bulk of their firepower, as well as all the various targets that are presenting themselves in front of me. Now, one thing I have not acquired. been doing a good job of, and I get roasted in the comments all the time, in this mech, the typical approach with it is fire your weapons, twist to the right, protect that right shoulder, and get back into cover, rinse and repeat. And I haven't been doing a very good job of torso twisting. I don't do a good job of torso twisting in general. And that's because I picked up bad habits as a YouTube content creator, I'm focused on getting good footage and good shots and not swinging my mech to the right-hand side and showing you the downed dropship. I would rather show acquired. you explosions on enemy units or components flying off enemy units. So ignore that. Uh, what is it, the old saying? Uh, do as I say, not as I do. Oh my goodness, when did I become my father? But anyway, that's how you play this mech, is to do your alpha strike, spin away, protecting your big AC-20. The score is 4 to 9. The enemy is left ahead on the power curve. And while I've been getting a lot of work done, I don't know how focused my efforts have been. I have not had the opportunity to focus on one mech repeatedly, nor have I been able to focus on open components on various targets very effectively. So this may very well be a case of win the battle, lose the war. I've gotten a lot of shots out, but I just don't know how effective I have been. And now I'm in a circle of death, surrounded by enemy targets everywhere I look. I'm trying to take out that Marauder before I go down, but that's not meant to be. Reaching over to the end score on this one, we wind up with a single kill, six components destroyed, and the match damage high score with 708 damage done. Moving on to our next drop. This one has us playing Conquest Mode on Polar Highlands. Our team has secured three of the five capture points, and we are pushing towards enemy territory when we find, oh my goodness, a dire wolf. And we want to get away from him. He has AC-5s and 2s. 
I don't want to stand in the open too, too long with that amount of firepower staring at me. I quickly call out his position to my teammates so they don't suffer the same fate. And then I circle around looking for a better angle on that unit since he holds the high ground. Now there is something radically different in this drop from the first match and that is the amount of communication that's going on with the team. So listen if you can to a lot of what's being said in the background. There's a lot of information being shared especially by one of our units. I believe he has LRMs and he's letting us know what targets he sees and who he is offering fire support to which is invaluable in situations where you round the corner, I don't know, come face to face with a second dire wolf who is just built for close quarter combat. So this has gotten messy and intense very quickly. I was trying to commit to the kill on Foxtrot dire wolf, but my left side was getting shot up. I couldn't stay up there forever, so I do need to back off here a little bit. And there's the original dire wolf from the very first point of contact and he's coming to pay me a visit as well. I'm trying to focus him down. He's open left torso, and about that time is when an enemy, Orion, decides to show up, and we get a shot through his CT, taking him out before the missile support shows up, but that's okay. A kill is a kill, and now we've got a Nova supporting both the dire wolves. It looks like the Nova is backing off, and this is where the one dire wolf with the Fuck. LBs is moving in, and I know he acquired. is open and damaged, and I want to commit to the kill on Foxtrot to Target put him destroyed. down. And right because I'm so focused on that, I presented a beautiful right side profile to that Nova, which is a terrible thing to do in a hunchback. Again, keeping that right side twisted away preserves your big AC-20. And while we manage to take half the enemy Nova, the dire wolf on the high ground takes our left torso. But this is a hunchback and a very tanky mech. This is a minor setback. It's just a flesh wound in a hunchback. So I've lost a little heat management possibly and one of my medium lasers, but I'm still in this and still deadly as our friend the Warhawk is about to find out as we rain some AC-20 shells through his side torso to get our third kill of the match. I do have to watch who I'm engaging and how I'm engaging because I've lost half of my mech, but I can still put up a good fight even in a damaged hunchback. I love the survivability of this mech. I still need to protect that right torso that is open. The good news is, even with all the damage we've taken, the AC-20 has not been critted. I want to get these last two shots out. And here comes the summoner. My snapshot, I think, went over his left shoulder. I'm not 100% sure on that. But between my teammates and myself, we're able to take him out of the game. And with the last of our Auto Cannon 20 ammunition spent, it means we are now down to two medium lasers with which to beat back the enemy hordes. And this Thunderbolt doesn't know who he's messing with. I'm going to absolutely wreck him with my two medium lasers. Okay, maybe it was the support fire from the two friendly units to the right, but it looked good. It sounded impressive. Good news is the match is well in hand. 10 to 5, last two units are a heavily damaged Cicada, one touch CT. But Mr. Murphy is not done with me. Instead, he drops a very fresh victor straight into my path. This is not going to end well. I just hope I can be a big enough distraction for my team, letting them get the kill. And switching over to our end screen, we finish this one off with three kills, eight components destroyed, 843 damage done.